will now pass over this evening to your hosts for tonight, Catherine Clark and Ben Mulroney. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ben Mulrooney. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Je suis Catherine Clark. It's a real honor to be here with all of you tonight who can no longer go to highs. <laughs> Nous sommes très fiers d'être avec vous ce soir et ravis que vous avez choisi d'être euh, ici pour appuyer notre retour à la scène politique. Honestly, Ben and I are really so pleased that all of you have chosen to be here tonight as we announce our launch of our bids for the leadership of the, the new Democratic Party, Party of Canada. Canada. Oh yeah, that's right. Now look, Ben, you and I know that we all are pretty qualified to be leaders of our parties. Mm -hmm. because we are quite simply the children of prime ministers. So right there we have it. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I think um, the last election proved the importance of really good hair. And we've got really <laughs> good hair. That qualifies us too. B. Mm -hmm. Yep. But Canadians are savvy, we know this. True, true. Yes, and they don't just sadly want a pretty face. So we have policies, too. Comrades. <laughs> I want to go farther than Avi Lewis. Uh -huh. I don't want to just leave the oil in the ground. No, that's a waste. I want to take the oil that's already out and put it back in. Back in. Oh, yeah. It's a good policy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I will propose tax credits for anyone looking to commute using non-carbon emitting vehicles. Unicycles, mm -hmm. pogo sticks, hot air balloons, adult size baby Bjorns. If it doesn't emit, you don't have to remit. Woo! And finally, friends, I will work tirelessly day in and day out to get Naomi Klein on the $1 coin. Because it's already called the loony. I'll protect you, Ben. Well, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm a communications professional. So my first job is going to really be to rebrand the Conservative Party. And I'm going to give them uh, a flashy new name, one that really inspires trust across the country. Mm. Did you know what that new name's going to be? No, what? It's going to be the Progressive Conservative Party of Canada. Mm. Oh, yeah. Smart. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know a thing or two about that. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, next, as a mother, I am fully committed to the idea of a national child care plan. Very good. So, Very good. as Prime Minister, I will get to have three nannies, and the nation gets to pay for them. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, when I become prime minister, I will even let my husband keep his last name. Uh, well done. Well done. Thank you. Et honnêtement, ce soir, ce soir promet d'être un événement inoubliable. Et on aimerait remercier la Société d'encouragement aux écrivains du Canada de nous avoir choisi pour animer la politique et l'écrit. We want to thank the Writers' Trust for allowing us to be here tonight uh, to host Politics in the Pen 2016, because you could have chosen any other PM's kid. Well, and, uh, uh-huh, well, maybe without one exception, but you also, um, thankfully, chose the ones who weren't going to lecture Bill Morneau about Keynesian economic policy, and for that, we are profoundly grateful. Indeed. indeed. Actually, you know, some people were really quite surprised at how well thought out and researched Ben Harper's op-ed was. But I wasn't. Why not? Because, well, some of the best work that I did in university was when my dad wrote my homework for me. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's a good point. You know, living at 24 Sussex mm -hmm. was a real privilege. It was. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, well, it is such a beautiful and a historic home, and, and something about it really just sticks with you. Yeah, well, the asbestos, right? <laughs> <coughs> Well, along with the carcinogens, you get a, a first-hand look at history in the making. Do you have any favorite memories? Um, yeah, Halloween. We loved Halloween in our house. We'd go all out with the decorations, the smoke machines, the sound effects. That sounds kind of scary. Oh, it was. I would dress up as Clyde Wells. My brother was Elijah Harper. My dad was terrified. <laughs> yeah, those were the good old days. They were, and now... Mm -hmm. Now the NDP is in full leadership swing with all kinds of names being thrown out. You got Megan Leslie. That's right. Peter Julian. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cheech and Chong. Wow. Yeah. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and it's still a year away, but the conservative leadership race is shaping up too. Uh, Maxime Bernier has tossed his briefcase full of con confidential documents <laughs> right into the ring. And, of course, Kelly Leach has launched an ex exploratory bit? You know, when a surgeon says that she wants to explore, mm. you often fear for the life of the patient. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that one. And then there's Peter McKay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says that the Tories can beat Mr. Trudeau if they just find someone who's a hard worker and who can really connect with people. But that and a name that rhymes with meter Paquet. This is a good point. Mm. There are also another, a number of Albertans eyeing the job. You've got Jason Kenney and Michelle Rempel. Well, Ben, Albertans do make great leaders. Well, until the fourth ballot. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one, Ben. But I think you better watch it. You should never count the man from my river down. You know, that nickname uh, could really take on a whole new meaning once uh, the liberals uh, legalize pot. The the man from High River could become the dude from Cool Ranch Dorito. My mother would love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about your dad? What does he say about legalizing pot? Uh, three things, G, S, and T. Okay. okay. Of course, uh, Minister Morno's financial deficit would quickly become an attention deficit, but these things have a way of balancing themselves. Yeah, I love how these things balance mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, lots really has changed since our dads were in politics. That's true. Election debates are now live streamed, and Senate appointments are apparently nonpartisan. Nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. And, you know, an Alberta premier supporting pipelines is controversial. Yeah, that's a head scratcher. Yeah, so that's a head scratcher. Mm -hmm. Another big shift is there are now an equal number of men and women in cabinet. Woo! It is 2016 mm -hmm. after all. It's great to see so many here, uh, so many of the ministers here. We've got Environment Minister Catherine McKenna. We've got <laughs> Heritage Minister Melanie Joly. Welcome. And many, many others. Many others. Actually, Minister Joly said in a radio interview mm -hmm. that she thinks the CBC should become more like Vice. Oh. And as somebody who works for CTV, I say, that's a great <laughs> idea. Lean into that, CBC. Go for it. You know what, honestly, I just can't wait to see the look on Chantal Hébert and Andrew Cohen's face when um, they transform Peter Mansbridge into this bearded hipster and he has to start doing stories on how to behave in a swingers club. I would watch that. I would watch that too. I would watch that. Speaking watch of stories, that. That there's been a lot of talk this week in Ottawa about assisted dying, or as the NDP call it, the Leap Manifesto. And while we're on the topic of fading to black, is Stephen Harper here? <laughs> Seriously, that guy disappeared from Ottawa like a ninja. I like poof. Well, no, Ben, I'm sorry to say he is not here tonight, but sources do tell John Iveson that he'll be back. <laughs> well, in the absence of that crazy party animal, I think we'd better get this party started, Catherine. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, our cameras will give you an exclusive behind-the-scenes look. Whoa, we, we don't have cameras. But I was told this was an award show. Well, it, it is. It's, it is an award show, but for books. 
I'm sorry, what? Books. Books. Yeah. You know, there are these things that journalists write when they're trying to make money. No, no, no. Okay, well, the things that politicians write when they're trying to become prime minister. Oh, you mean that thing that Brad Wall works on after French class? You got it. Got it. That's it. Got it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, right. you got it. Okay. Yeah, we really are here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, to honor some phenomenal Canadian literary talent. But now it is almost time to let everyone dig into their dinner. Almost, Catherine. Almost. That's because right. as I understand it, mm -hmm. politics in the pan has a rich and strong musical tradition, and it's something that I would like to uphold. I <coughs> but we <coughs> talked about this. We talked about this when you took your drink to her. Can I get a C sharp, oh, please? Come on, Canadian Idol is over. Please let us not do this. Catherine. We're going to strip this down, Sophie style. That's great. That's great. When I see your face smiling back at me. Come on. Come on. Bon appétit, tout le monde. I got a whole other verse. Yeah, 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 yeah. 